good morning students in the last class we discussed deflecting torque and the various effects and today we will discuss controlling torque and various methods of producing controlling torque controlling torque tc is the torque which opposes the deflecting torque td the controlling torque has two functions first one is to produce a force equal and opposite to the deflecting force at the final steady position of the pointer in order to make the deflection of the pointer definite for a particular magnitude of current for example we have to measure 2 ampere current so according to the magnitude of current a deflecting torque is produced and the pointer moves from 0 to the final steady state position 2 if controlling torque is not produced the pointer will swing beyond the final steady state position when td is equal to tc means when deflecting torque is equal to controlling torque the pointer will come to steady state Controlling torque in indicating instruments may be provided either by spring control or by gravity control. So first one is the spring control method. Spring control is the most common method of providing controlling torque in electrical instruments. It may involve one or more springs. A spiral hair spring made up of phosphor bronze is attached to the moving system so this one is the spindle and this one is the pointer and scale arrangement this one is the balance weight when the pointer deflects the spring twist in the opposite direction producing a restoring torque proportional to the angle of deflection of the moving system the pointer comes to rest when td is equal to tc means deflecting torque becomes equal to controlling torque with the spring control the controlling torque tc is proportional to theta theta is the angle of deflection of the moving system therefore we can write tc is equal to k into theta where k is the spring constant next one is gravity control in gravity controlled instrument a small weight is attached to the moving system in such a way that it produces a controlling torque when the moving system deflects the controlling torque can be varied easily by adjusting the position of the controlling weight another adjustable weight is attached for zero adjustment and balancing purpose this weight is called a balancing weight gravity control is cheap but it mainly used in vertical instruments in gravity control instrument controlling torque tc is proportional to sin theta therefore tc is equal to k into sin theta next one is the damping torque when a deflecting torque is applied to the moving system it deflects and come to rest when td is equal to tc but the moving system cannot immediately settle at its final position because of the inertia of the moving system the pointer thus oscillates about its final steady state with the decreasing amplitude till its kinetic energy is dissipated in friction if extra forces are not provided to damp these oscillations the moving system will take a considerable time to settle to the final position and hence time taken for reading will be large therefore damping forces are necessary so that the moving system comes to its equilibrium position 
rapidly and smoothly without any oscillations. Damping force is produced by air friction, fluid friction and eddy current. First one is air friction damping. This consists of light aluminium piston which is attached to the moving system. When the oscillations occur, the piston moves into and out of the air chamber. The developed pressure damp out oscillations. Next one is fluid friction damping. Similar to air friction damping, here air is replaced by oil. Oil is more viscous than air, hence damping force will increase us. Last one is eddy current damping. In this type of damping, copper or aluminium disc is attached to the moving system and also a permanent magnet is used. When the pointer moves, the copper or aluminium disc also rotate and cut the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet and eddy currents are produced. This current interacts with the magnetic field to produce an electromagnetic torque that is damping torque which opposes the motion. Thank you.